Hey guys, it's Mosingi Dong Kong, aka Ugly Peanut, and I'm here today with my 2D design sketchbook slash art. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that I'm still not the best artist when it comes to these kinds of things. The teacher really wanted us to think outside the box for this class, and I'm not good at thinking outside the box and when things aren't very specific. So I did have a harder time in this class, and I know my work is lackluster in comparison to other students, and the people in my class were absolutely amazing artists. Oh, there's a chipmunk in my backyard. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Hold on, let me see if you can see it. You see that little thing? It's right there, so cute. Okay, anyway. Here was just a list of important 2D design terms. Then we watched a short video and took some notes on it. It's about examples of the different terms again. Here was practice for our first project. Before each project, she would give us little exercises like this. Then we would plan for the project and actually do the project. For this project, it was with dots and value. Just practicing like giving value and shading with stippling. In addition to just working on the projects we got assigned in class, we also had sketchbook assignments that went along with each project slash unit. This one just had to do with value and picking a picture with like 10 different values in it. This one was just doing a value scale, then a value scale with dots, then doing pictures and doing a value scale. I'll give you some zoom action here. So yeah, you can see I went lighter and then back again this way to go super dark and they all had to kind of go together that was really hard for me so I just kind of tried to do a growing number of sides and it's not that cohesive but it's all right and this was a value scale in color and then we had to do value with dots in a five by five piece and then here on the right was planning for project one for this project we had three compositions we had to do organic geometric, and then kind of a freebie thing. So these were just my planning stages. Uh, I kind of sucked at that. And here were the guidelines for project one. And here was my pre-planning for a bigger scale. This was just some instruction at the top on critiques because we did have critique days in class. We'll pause for this for a moment and I'll show you the final pieces from project one. The first one I did here was the organic one. I just overall liked how this one turned out. It's very simple. I think it's the best out of all three. Except, and I had a problem with this in a few other projects, where I should have done more dramatic dots and stippling. Close up, it looks fine, but super duper far away, it's hard to even see a lot of the detail in it. The next one I worked on was the geometric one. This one wasn't my favorite. The other one I did with the kind of micron-like pens, but this one I just did with Sharpie. And it just doesn't seem as refined. I almost like it better in a horizontal orientation. But still, it just, I don't know, it doesn't have a wow factor. Then this one, I had no idea what to do for the third one. And this is another one where I should have done more dramatic shades. Even from this distance with the camera, it doesn't look like much detail is there. Or like I did a lot of shading. Like I said, I had no idea for it. And I did it about like, ugh like 40 minutes before class, not the best. <laughs> Don't do that with art projects, but a lot of people did. Project two here had to do with line and it was a similar thing, values and lines. And these were just the playing around assignments. This was a sketchbook assignment using various lines and trying to fill up the page. Use separate lines and connect them with your mind. Don't remember this one, another sketchbook assignment. Just watching a video and taking notes on how the artist did things planning here. This one I did struggle with again, just trying to get my ideas out. With this one, we also had to do one organic and one geometric. We didn't have to do a third one, thank god. I think everyone was about ready to die at that point. I accidentally skipped a page here. Yeah, more playing on the back there. Very ugly. More sketchbook assignments. This was just trying to freehand like another artist's work. I should get the artist's name. I don't know why I didn't write it right there. Going from very simple shapes to more detailed pictures. You can't really see what this is doing, but it's swirling here with different geometric shapes. And let me show you what that final project was like. This project, again, I had problems with getting everything dark enough from a distance. I just didn't check myself on that. That's the first one, the geometric one. The second one, I didn't think turned out that well, but a lot of people in the class did like it and the teacher liked it, surprisingly. I used Sharpie for the background. That's how I got those thick lines. And I don't like how I did that. Or I should have done the background a little bit darker because I kind of like how I did the dark 
lighter dark, lighter dark, but I wish it had been just overall darker. But yeah, I like the leaf. The leaf turned out really cute. Like, look at that. That's cute. Okay, project three. Essentially, we had to kind of create a storyline with a central shape as a theme. This was a practice page planning for the project. I actually did this one really fast. The other ones took me like a day to even come up with an idea, but this one I did it in like one class period. It was so crazy. And then sketchbook assignment, planning for the final project, test page for India Ink because I did it in India Ink. Thought that people might have a hard time reading this because I did kind of do it in a weird way that your eyes should follow the page, but everyone in the art class pretty much was able to do the right way to read it. So you start here and you go here, here, down here, then up here. I thought about this project so hard because with this thing, with the dark part going down. If I did it too low, it looked like you're supposed to read this way, but when I brought it up shorter some, bled people's eyes back up this way. Interesting. And then here, here, and here. I feel like this one is good for some explaining because I thought I put a good bit of symbolism in this one. Not symbolism, but like little details that I don't know if other people would pick up on. The ball dot, that's supposed to be like a gray thing, but I accidentally did it too dark, is dropping down. That's some water. It's sinking into the water, surrounded by the water. It shows the reflection on the other side, because you know like when things drop in water, it has a little bloop, and then it's sinking further and is all alone in solitude. Da -da -da. And this is supposed to look like a smile, and these curves are supposed to be like eyes of like some kind of force. As it's sinking down, it's getting happier and swallowing it up. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that. Well, in my head, it worked really great, but trying to put it in words out loud, on the spot. Sounds stupid. Project four was transitions and this was actually the first project using color. Everyone was so happy about it and it was making a collage and doing color transitions well. We went over the beginning of this project, then spring break happened, and then the virus, and so this is when we went online for the rest of the class. So yeah, this was one of the sketchbook assignments. We had to do like practice collages for that. That one was supposed to be like playing around more with texture and this one was supposed to be monochrome and also texture. Here was a video and write notes on it. Project four. Okay, I really love this one. I know my professor was kind of, I mean, she liked it all right, but her feedback was that it didn't transition enough because the whole thing was about transitions. And I had transitions that were a little bit too abrupt, but that's kind of how I wanted to do it in my head because I had a whole like overall picture it's supposed to be. I don't think she noticed, so I was a little bit sad. What do you think this is supposed to be? Turn your head to where this over here is the top and that's the bottom. And I'll give you a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Okay, your time's up. It's supposed to be like a mountain sunset. Like that's the lake down there, the forest transitioning to mountains, the sun setting and the sky right here. And this was actually supposed to have a fourth piece. I'm sorry, professor, if you like ever see this. Here at the top, it was supposed to go from red to like dark blue and purple, you know, to complete like the sunset sky, but I never got to finishing it. The original project was to do three 14 by 14 collages or four 11 by 11s, and I chose to do 11 by 11s, but never did the fourth. But since everything was online, she never knew like what the actual size was. And then we got started on to project five. We had paint mixing exercises, primary, secondary, tertiary colors here. And then exercise two was working on neutral colors in the middle and writing a lot of notes on them because she wanted us to like evaluate what we did. And we did neutral extension of mixing complementary colors. So this looks very pink. I had like, you know, the gouache mixing set that was like technically magenta. So this was be red and green, but I didn't mix it to make it red. I really liked the pink, it was really pretty. Exercise four was value scale of secondary colors here. And then we had like a little mini project here. She has this website where if you typed in your name, it paired letters of your name with certain colors. And so we had to mix those colors, paint them on squares this big, and then cut them out into shapes and make a composition from that. So project five was to come up with a design and paint it according to different color schemes. I came up with a couple different designs and they're all ugly, but that's the one I chose as you will see. And then that's it for the whole sketchbook. It's empty. I have quite a few pages left. We had to do grayscale on the front. This one was actually low key my favorite. Page two here was complementary and then monochrome. This one was, I want to say it's analogous. This one was triadic. I think. 
Split complimentary is one of these. I don't know. Honestly, sorry. Terrible art student. And then this one was quadratic, I think. And then the last one was just pick whatever you want. And this one I just did. Cool tones. Yeah, and I actually really hate how this one came out. It looks really patchy right here because I diluted the gouache with a lot of water to get it to spread more thinly because I was about out of the mixing pink. Now that is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my work from 2D Design. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!